All right, gang, so I'm out in New York City getting a lot of R&R &R here at the beach, training jiu-jitsu earlier in the day over at Marcelo Garcia's gym. And I'm just like soaking up some energy. I was pretty spent from training. My neck was a little tight and stiff from last week of training. And so it kind of gives me a segue into what I'm doing on the beach. For one, the sand feels amazing. And it's a good way to challenge balance. So I've been liking the fact that, okay, it teaches your body how to really uh, widen out for the big uh, toes. Uh, because if your foot gets all cramped up and you're walking on sand, you're not going to move anywhere fast. You have to learn to really widen your foot. And that's good for just basic support and opening up throughout your kinetic chain. Because if you walk with a wider foot, the plantar fascia, the muscles on the bottom of your foot here, are going to open up. And then your hamstrings, your calves, your glutes, everything up is going to affect your entire uh, fascial chain. You see those rocks there? I was actually uh, walking on those, doing a little nature walk where you're just uh, kind of just walking around on those. And you just have to deal with different... Uh, you know, train changes, so that makes it fun. But today, in today's mobility training tip, I would like to share just a few balancing exercises that I'm doing here to uh, work on my balance. So, eyes focus on target, grip hands, we go here. Just this basic one, I like it. Good hip opener. And again, that same premise of keeping the wide toe box is essential here. Progressive next one. We've got a whole series we can do, but just a few that are coming off hand. Try to kick out, point up the toe. You notice how my foot's wanting to ball up and I'm losing my balance? I have to get that mind muscle connection here to widen out through the big toe and the rest of my foot on my plant leg. Another one you can do is this. I'm not going to do both each side just for the sake of time. Here. Move to the big toe. And it's a different extra balance challenge, guys. That's the focus I want you to take away. So you could add this like at home, you know, good in the grass, something different, or go on a trail, do your yoga there. And with that, it's going to just challenge you in many different ways. And the big thing I want you to take away is just be opportunistic with your training. That's what I'm doing right now. My routine is totally disrupted, and that's what this whole trip was about. It's getting away, uh, resetting, recharging, by taking different scenery, different elements, and getting to the beach, getting into the water. Obviously, it's helped clear my sinus cavities, so that's why I did a lot of upside down work uh, doing in my yoga flow. Taking that, you know, got the salt water all over my nose, ears, all that, and it's draining all that through my sinuses. I can already feel healthier, colors are brighter. And life is good as always, friends. So stay tuned for more below. Video product coming up. Secrets to soft, stable, strong, and supple hips, supple low back hips. And got the ebook down there if you want to join the mailing list for training updates. It's all there. Much love.